It took Bia Heza three years to make his first $15 on Instagram. Three years later, he was making over six figures a month and currently has over 1 million subscribers on YouTube. I don't know many better at finding side hustles that cost little to no money to start than Vlad Biaheza. He would start uploading videos to YouTube showcasing ways he was making money. This would soon become a blessing and a curse. He just chose to quit YouTube and leave millions of viewers and dollars on the table. You may have many questions and we have the answers. Everything will be covered in this video. In order for you to understand everything, we have to rewind back to Bia Heza starting his first YouTube channel when he was in the sixth grade. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bia Heza. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. He actually started by uploading skateboarding videos. His success did not happen overnight, despite today making six figures a month. It was humble beginnings for Bia Heza. His family moved to the US from Belarus when he was just six years old the same country Gary Vee is from. His family settled in the Sacramento, California area. He had a pretty normal childhood until middle school where things would start to form for Biaheza. He started using Instagram and realized that people were creating Instagram theme pages where they were posting nature, travel, beauty, and other forms of content, gaining a ton of followers. He would also notice that these pages were posting ads which they were getting paid for. So, Biaheza started building theme pages and took it pretty seriously where he was posting five times a day on multiple accounts. It took three years of running these theme pages to make his first dollar, however, although the money he received was nowhere near the time that he had spent building the pages, it gave him one thing, proof of concept. And although he started to make some consistent money through these theme pages, it wasn't enough so Biaheza got himself a job at JCPenney. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas, JC Penny shoppers. Still looking for the perfect gift? Why not give them a JC Penny? He also picked up a second job installing inflatables. The hustle on the theme pages didn't stop. If anything, it picked up getting more and more followers, leading to the month that would change his life forever. Before I reveal what happened that month, we have to understand the moment that the light bulb clicked for Biaheza. He realized he was just promoting other people's dropshipping products, so why not just start dropshipping himself so he could promote his products on his page for free? In short, dropshipping you act as the middleman, so you take a product, sell it to someone for more than you bought it for, and you keep the difference. The great part being, most of the time you are not responsible for the shipping, you just coordinate the sale. It's a lot of marketing and Bia Heza is pretty great at that and self-taught. He saw the potential to get a product in front of a lot of eyeballs for little cost. So he decided to give dropshipping a try and he made $25,000 his first month dropshipping. Much more than he was making his other jobs. So he quit and he went all in on dropshipping through the theme pages he was continuing to build. And there were more amazing things that were happening in his life at the same time. Biaheza's YouTube channel was rapidly growing and he released a free guide on how to grow Instagram theme pages. Unfortunately, this video would backfire on him and the Instagram theme page market started to become more saturated and some of the go-to methods that Biaheza would use no longer worked. But at that point, he was making so much money with the dropshipping that he was more concerned with keeping those methods more of a secret and he wasn't as worried about the theme page methods that he had shared. He had graduated high school at 17 because he had enough credits and he started attending a local community college planning to become a nurse. It got to the point though where all the success was compounding and he had some decisions to make. He was making so much money now that he would no longer qualify for his financial aid, so paying for college was making less and less sense as each day went by. So he dropped out. This fast forwards to now. Biaheza is going back to his bread and butter, creating money out of thin air through hustle and creativity. Whether it be painting house numbers on curbs, hanging up Christmas lights, moving furniture, or fixing things up and reselling it, wherever there is opportunity, Biaheza capitalizes, and there is a huge opportunity right now with TikTok ads and Biaheza sees it. You can post TikTok ads to market products, and the way the TikTok algorithm works, with the amount of users, you really can get a lot of eyeballs, which can translate to a lot of sales. He grew his channel to over a million subscribers, and once he hit 1 million subscribers, he made a video saying that a lot of people stop after hitting 1 million subscribers in reference to posting YouTube videos, but he said that the grind won't stop and he doesn't see himself doing that. 
but that would end up changing. When a Bia Heza video was dropped, it would always get my full attention. Drop shipping videos, Millionaire Starts From Scratch series, showing stock investments, real estate investments, all fueled by his internet YouTube money. But lately, he hasn't felt like his time is best spent on the YouTube platform. He would constantly study and obsess over the YouTube algorithm, and that can be a blessing and a curse. He has become one of the biggest channels in the business entrepreneurship space, and a channel that shows you that anyone can do it. I mean, when he started dropshipping, he was blowing up and he wasn't even 18 years old. So he had to have his parents sign all his business paperwork. Pretty inspirational. With YouTube, if he would try to sell his channel, well, the channel is nothing without him because he's the face of the channel. A YouTube business is like a reverse pyramid where you have the CEO, aka the creator, some managers, advisors, editors. Point is, if you take the CEO from a regular pyramid away, it's still structurally solid, it still stands. Whereas if you do that with a YouTube business, you take away the creator, it's humble. You just can't have Mr. Beast without Mr. Beast. When it comes to an e-commerce store such as dropshipping, he can sell that brand for a nice cash out and the brand can still function without him. He can take his profits and move on to the next opportunity anonymously. So as an entrepreneur myself, I wouldn't say he's making a bad choice. But will we ever see Biaheza again? Biaheza has uploaded a video saying he is pretty much done with consistent uploads to YouTube after going on a four month streak with no uploads, the longest in the channel's existence. YouTube can be exhausting, and burnout is a real thing. As Bia has I put it, you are only as good as your last upload. He is having a hard time seeing an end game with YouTube. I think that Bia Heza will be involved in some YouTube faceless channels and use his knowledge of the algorithm to grow faceless channels like he did with the Instagram theme pages. One of the last videos he released on his channel was him uploading on a secret faceless YouTube channel, hiring out all the work to prove that YouTube is not just luck. He also mentioned that some of the highest earners on YouTube have never shown their face. So that gets to my theory. He starts several faceless YouTube channels that nobody knows he is behind. He can make different kinds of videos where the channel doesn't need to be revolved around him and be involved as much or as little as he would like. From time to time, he will upload on his regular channel to check in and give life updates talking about how he is focusing on e-commerce and will start to pay people to create the videos for his faceless YouTube channels. Maybe B-Treezy's paying me.